univariate data, a la shmup. Sometimes so much can be communicated by a single word. <gasps> Let's be sure there's actually a fire. All right, well, in math, we have a term for that univariate data. Una, as in one, and variate, as in variable. All right, it's a good way of keeping things simple and uncomplicated. So we can examine a single type of data and compare it to other data. So, for example, say someone conducted an experiment in which they tried to balance a bunch of different items on different body parts for varying lengths of time while standing in different positions. Well, there are a few、uh, balls in the air here. <clears throat> Rather than worry about our guy balancing a lit grill on his right shoulder for 20 minutes while standing on one leg, we can instead zero in on the item he's balancing. So we're really just looking at a list. It might read. Folding chair, teapot, bookshelf, flat screen television, and a bear, and so on. If you're dealing with chemicals that react with one another at a certain temperature, well, you're going to focus just on the types of chemicals or just on the temperatures, but not both. Either way, please try to keep some focus on the actual chemicals and don't forget where the eye wash station is,、uh, you know, just in case. If you get a handle on things and want to go a level deeper, there's always bivariate data.、Uh, now you can start bringing in a second variable into the mix here. If you're looking at men and women of different ages who graduated from various clown colleges, well, now you can track both the ages of the people and the prestigious clown colleges they、um, attended. But bivariate data is a different story for a different day. Let's not get ahead of ourselves.、Uh, for now, slow down, enjoy life, and try to maintain some、uh, balance. Good job, dude. What did the buffalo say to his son as he left for school? Bye, son. Okay, bad joke. But if you survived it, how about clicking the subscribe button below? And if you're looking for more jokes from yours truly, why not check out our website at www.schmoop.com? And if you want to get updates on what's new, well, check us out on Facebook and Twitter too. Please check our Facebook and Twitter pages, please.